Welcome, Welcome back, back Froth and Bros. Bros. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone's enjoying their weekend yeah. and a long weekend. So today we are fishing for rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here approaching the, uh, the lake um, and we will show you our setup and how we we fish for the uh, for these rainbow trout. Also, we will be uh, doing some catching cook if we do catch a fish, and uh, so yeah, stay tuned. See ya. guys so uh we're gonna be showing you our setup so right here we have a ultralight fishing rod it's a shakespeare ugly stick uh ultralight and going into our main line to our weight i don't know mm -hmm. if you can see that so we have a bead stopper we have our inline weight so uh so a bead to a swivel, I don't know if you can see that, to our leader and then we're using a gulp trout dough and it's going to look like this. So our setup is a bottom fishing. So once you toss it, this thing should float up from the bottom and let's see how it goes. And hopefully I don't snag. <laughs> Just flick it. <laughs> nice. Now we just wait. Right. Oh, did I not record it? <laughs> you didn't record it, bro? Yeah, it's good. Oh, stop, 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 stop. There it is. Good job? I think so. Sweet. Small one. Good for the ego, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, George. You're swallowing the whole thing. Yeah. You need this. Thank you. That's cool. Look at that. He swallowed it. Oh no, it's a fighter. Play it, play it. Loosen it, loosen it. Like try 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 to like play against it. Yeah. Whoa, it's actually good. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> is it red? Yeah. Yo, is it red? Yeah, red. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Oh, it's like five times big. Yeah. Oh, nice small. No, it's still decent, man. The ego is, the ego knows. Oh, you didn't? I think we don't need the net. Are they fun? Why? It's a small one, so we don't have to clean the net. Oh, wow, that's okay. It's an airborne catch. Oh, good, good, good. Let that one go. It's tiny. You don't want it? Yeah, oh, it's tiny. Let it go. Oh, no, I think he swallowed the thing, man. Yeah, if it swallowed the thing, kill it. Yeah, because it's just basically dead. Unless you can unhook it with that thing. Oh, no, you're just putting in the suffering, right? Yeah, are you gonna, are you gonna grab it? Retie. 
too big. Yeah. But again, it's the same thing, eh? That's why we never really come here early anymore because then, uh, the, the bite starts like noon. Yeah. I just come early because, uh, spot. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like you said, it was already park, park, park in the morning, right? Yep. Because they open at 7, right? The gate? Yeah, something like that. I think they change it by, let's say, summer, they open at 6. Earlier? Or, because they go by the sunrise, right? I guess. Did they actually chop the tree just for that? <laughs> you. That's a good size. Yeah. Watch the eagles. It's gonna come if you let it run that way. If you <laughs> see they're able to catch it, it's gonna come. But we're not. As long as you make it big. You. Nice. nice. That's, the si That's a decent size. size. Yeah. Wow, they swallowed the whole thing. Yeah. Nice. You. Another one. One. All right, let me get up close here. It's a fighter. Okay. Ooh. Nice. So, guys, this is our limit for fish for the two of us. Mm -hmm. It's only two fish per one person. Beautiful fish, rainbow trout. Alright guys, check these out. Four fish, we got our limit. That's just in one hour today. Look at a beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fish. Let's go cook these. Alright guys, welcome back. We are back home as you can see. We have our fish. So beautiful today for catching this and now we will show you how to gut them and how to uh, fillet them and few preparation for these uh, for these fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how to gut these fish. Get the fish, um, the stomach, just go along the stomach there all the way to the butt right there once you open it oh it's not cut all the way there we go just get in there then just pull everything see as you can see you can see the hook in there so you gotta be careful getting in there there's still the hook so we'll take that out Yank it and you come up here, you're gonna get all those gills out. Just cut in there. There you go. And you reach in there. That's all the gills, you don't want to eat that. Just more. The heart. A little heart. 
and yeah, it looks good. And then now you, in there, there's a bloodline in the middle. Get rid of that. See that bloodline? You want to get rid of that. So just run your knife straight down. There. And then get your thumb in there. So when run your thumb. Get rid of that. It's okay if you leave some. But as long as you get majority of it because that will make your fish taste more fishy and yeah so get rid of that there you go you got a clean fish now you just wash them and prepare them all right guys so this second fish here so we're going to be butterflying this all right so what you want to do is make a cut here cut those rib cage the way do the other side can get rid of the head. Yep. Right. So let's get rid of the head first. Oop. Fatality. Fatality. Okay. So now we're just going to be laying this. Stick with the bone. Alright, so that's good. Let's go do the other side. All right, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So what you're gonna do next is cut the thing there. Snip, snip. Beauty. To the other side. All right, let's move this. So there's a butterfly shot. For the steamed fish, mm -hmm. it's a quick seasoning, uh, lemon pepper seasoning, right? And we got green onions. Outside, be generous because it's gonna taste good. Inside, the outside as well. The head. And then, Green onions, stuff it inside. All right. Just for flavor. The next is butter. Keep the juices in. Now 
now it's nice and snug. And just like that. One fish, two fish. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go salt. Okay, so uh, the fish is, is in there, snug. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's put some more butter. Inspired by fisherman's life. Yeah. You can't forget butter. More butter. There you go. Real clean. So uh, we spray the grill. Mm -hmm. Clean it a little bit. And we have our steamed fish. And just put it inside. And leave it. We're gonna we're gonna leave it there for 20, 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat, and it's just gonna steam on butter. All right, for our second uh, trout here, we will be pan frying this. So we have a skillet heating up over there. Let's check it out. All right, it's ready. So you want to go skin side out first. Once you put the fish in there, you don't want to touch it. Just let it let it cook, right? Because if you if you keep moving it, the skin at the bottom is gonna stick on the pan, and you're gonna lose some heat, right? Now, want to make sure it's golden brown there. Been been frying there for a while. It's itchy. So give it a give it a back scratch. There it is. <laughs> back scratch. The meat cooks really fast, so you only want to cook it for like maybe a few more, you know, less than a minute. All right? Should be good. I think the fish is done, so let's check it out. Careful, yeah. It's hot. Oh yeah, I think that's... There you go. There you go. Smells good. As you can see, steamed on butter. So we have a pan seared trout and we have our steam steam trout. trout. Right. We got that. That's good. We have some rice. We have some pan seared butterfly oh, rainbow trout. Alright.
the seed, guys. Bro. Cheers, bro. Good Cheers. job, man. Alright. I'm gonna try this. Can't eat without rice. Rice is life. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. So yeah, today we, we we saw George. Yeah. We met him there. We we didn't plan it. We just saw him there. And yeah, we were fishing. Oh, that was good, man. What this, right? Good job, yeah. Yeah, they're good. I'm gonna try some of these out here. So good. Mm. Yeah, you want that. And so was the onion good to be there? Yeah. A little bit. Add, add, add flavor. Dimension, right? Yeah. Alright. Mm. That's pretty good, man. It's not um it's not uh, fishy, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think what we should have done with that. Mm. Actually, you know, what happened there is that it got overcooked, mm -hmm. that the bone, that the spine got really mushy. Mm -hmm. How's the fried fish? I'm good, man. Mm. I think I would have eaten the skin if it was still crispy. Yeah. Nice <clears throat> Probably got. This one's so crispy. Yeah, mine too. But it's it's like makuna. Mm -hmm. Makuna's crispy. Mm -hmm. You wanna have some more? Yes, yeah, Well, we didn't eat anything but this. Yes, My fish so good. Woo. You know if the food is good if you're eating bare hands with bare hands oh the bottom is actually got charred eh? pretty yeah. good Taste good. when in doubt just use butter lots of lots butter, of butter. So yeah. next next project nothing is tomorrow, right? Yeah. Oh the lemon is actually really good too. Yeah, I forgot. Yo dude, I'm I'm really surprised it's not fishy. Yeah, because we got it. I mean we took everything out. Mm -hmm. We seasoned it. I think the butter uh Mm. Oh man, that's the last bit. It's a micro green stew, man. Rainbow shop. Yeah. I'm gonna always gonna do this and this. Copy of me. Easy, simple, right? Okay, what's another recipe? The next recipe we're gonna do. Well, think about it. Do some research. Take a deep breath. 
that was really good guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys again thank you for tuning in and uh i hope you guys enjoy the video we have for you guys <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for tuning in and watching our video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And, and we will see you guys next time. Peace, Peace out.